Well, hello, everybody. It's Dr. B here. Happy Monday. I thought tonight we would talk about breaking generational curses. I want to tell you a story here. You know, for me and my family, we come from a long history of alcoholics. My dad grew up to alcoholic parents, and uh, my dad's a recovering alcoholic, and I'm a recovering alcoholic. And I want to tell you that almost 41 years ago, it'll be in February, so next month, is that my dad found God, and uh, then 41 years later, my dad has continued to be sober. And my dad counsels alcoholics to this day. He goes around sharing his story of hope and recovery to others. Now, what am I talking about here is that in a moment, my dad made a decision my dad made a decision that his life was not working, that he needed to turn his uh, addiction over to a higher power. And in that moment, that was the only, t only way that he was going to be able to uh, break this, this curse in our family. But what I want to say is, is that because he made that decision almost 41 years ago, it created a better opportunity for my brother and I. And so this past October, I celebrated 16 years being sober. So where at in your life are you stuck with a generational curse? Is it in health? Are you stuck with heart disease, cancer, diabetes, obesity, arthritis, surgeries, so on and so forth? How about in your relationships? Are there generational curses in relationships when it comes to marriage, addictions, broken relationships? How about in finances? Are we stuck in scarcity? Are we stuck in poverty? Where at in your life and where at in your world do you feel that you're stuck? That generation after generation is just the way that it's been. And therefore... That's the way it's going to be for you and your family and future generations. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight, I want you to consider the possibility of that generational curse being broken. It's in the moment of decision, right in the moment, that we can alter the trajectory of our life, our family's life, and future generations. That could be associated with health, relationships, or finances. So take a look at where you're at and take a look at those places that you're stuck and then start to get a greater vision of what may be possible for you and your family in the way of health. What's the possibility of health? Where are you stuck? You know, it's January. We're only two weeks into this new year. What goals have you set for yourself and what decisions are you making daily that align with those goals so that you can have the outcomes that you want? How about in relationships? Where are you stuck? Where can you be showing up as a greater individual in those relationships, investing time, money, and energy to help grow that? Is that with your spouse, significant other? Is it with your kids? Is it with a parent? Where? Where? How about in your finances? Where are you stuck? In scarcity and poverty. That you're expecting growth and abundance, but you're not sure how to get there. So we need to align with a greater vision of what's possible out there. Because that's the only way that you're going to have a hope for a different outcome and a new destination. Then my suggestion is, is that you turn things over to a higher power. I turn it over to God, but however you see God... And you pray for those answers. And then as you have the vision lined with your values, then start looking at your behaviors. Because it's the actions that you're taking that are going to either keep you stuck in that same generational curse, or it's going to open up the new possibility of expanding that vision to a greater place into the future. So where is it at? Because it's in the moment right now that you can change and alter your trajectory 
your family's trajectory and the trajectory of future generations. It's in the moment of decision. It only takes a decision. Just like my dad made a decision almost 41 years ago, that decision altered the course for my brother and I, and it also impacts his grandchildren and so on and so forth. So it starts today. You know, and it may not happen overnight, but you don't have to figure it out for years to come. You just have to figure it out one day at a time. That's how we win here. As Martin Luther King said, the time is always right to do what is right. Listen to your heart. I know the inside, the internal, the intuition, it's calling you to new land and new ground. There's greater possibilities. You just have to believe that it is possible. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As Tony Robbins once said also, as it's in the moment of decision that your destiny is shaped. Well, remember, there's an I in illness and a we in wellness. I look forward to partnering with you to help you achieve better health, relationships, and finances in 2022. Have a great night. I'll talk to you tomorrow.